Hey y'all, hope y'all are having a good day. Mine's going pretty decent. Uh, have had some misfortunes though on the farm. There's been another breakdown, um, which is pretty well a common thing on the farm. We've been pretty lucky up till this point this year, the last probably week or two. We've uh, started having the usual run. So uh, the international, the fuel tank is leaking. As y'all probably see the puddle, it's forming underneath it down there. I got to pull that tank and see what all I got to do to get it fixed or whatever else we might have to do. So I'm going to take y'all along with me, let y'all watch and help me take it off and uh, we'll see what we can't get done. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these steps off, get them out of the way. Well, sorry y'all are leaning, but I ain't got my, my little tripod. <laughs> so I got y'all sitting on top of a bottle cap to point the camera up. <laughs> but uh, this is the fun part. So now I get to try to drain the fluid, at, uh, the diesel fuel out of this thing. Which is always fun. These tanks ain't hard to take off, but it's just a... It's one of the jobs where you're real lucky if you can escape getting diesel fuel all over you. Alright. It's probably good. Well, now I get to do that about a hundred more times until I get the tank empty, so I ain't going to bore you all that. I'll be right back when I get empty. Alright, so I got the fuel out, now I got to take the lines loose. Just to show y'all, you see this little white clip? You have to get these out, and then, I done pull this one off so I can show y'all. You spread these tabs apart, and that's what holds these lines down on top of these fittings ones right here and then they have these little o-rings that seals them they're uh, basically fuel line quick couplers they're pretty easy to get off for anybody that doesn't know so they... all right so now i got to take the straps off Now this won't be a little more pain in the ass than I thought, so let me figure out what I want to do. Alright, so I went up and had to break the uh, T's on the bands. They're just rusted completely out and shot. I'm guessing this thing's got rusted out because it used to be uh, in Kentucky where they use a lot of salt and brime on the roads and it just eats them up. So that's probably what's happened with it. Um, down here, I don't know if y'all can see right there where that big blob of rust is at that's where the hole's at so looking at it i think this tank's done
only one that hates these new fuel tanks. I hate these things. They just piss me off. So that way you can paint to dry. This tank used to have one of these, and it is actually this one. You can see it's broken. It looked like this. And this part popped off. Guess where it went? In the tank of this tractor last year. I had to pull the whole tank off to get it out. Out the front of this tractor, take it apart, whole front end off. All on account of these. But tractor supply sells these kits with these flexible hoses and they come with a vent to put in these tanks and there you can fix your tanks to where they're like they used to be they just make me so mad these need just need crap in case you're wondering you got the tank on we found out, uh, had that one checked, no way would fix it, which I figured they would. And wound up, went and was going to get a used tank, a buddy of ours that actually owns one of the hayfields we cut, was going to a truck park store and he checked on one for us. They were supposed to have a used tank for us for $250. And got down there and he didn't have the used tank so he sold us a new one for 300 normally it's sell for four something so that was a good deal that we got lucky on got a new tank got her on we'll try in a minute oh another thing on these tanks these gas tanks me and dad had a big argument about this when we bought it but me and dad was just talking about he wishes we'd have bought three of these show y'all something says potable water guess what they sell these at tractor supply they're identical to the diesel fuel tanks it says diesel except they're a different color i bought one gonna try it he said that oh it'll make the plastic or whatever won't hold up because it's for water i said hell it's the same tank it's just a different dye on the ink or on the plastic i said Do you really think they're gonna make them any different well, they might. I said, okay, well, I'm going to try it and see what happens. We've had it now six, seven months. I've been using it with diesel. Still just as good as the day it came here. We wrote diesel on it so nobody would get confused with making letters. But if you want your regular fuel tank, look for the potable water tanks. <laughs> well, these anyway. This in here works pretty good. Another thing that I have been wanting to mention for a while is this. Uh, Yeti, these bottles are awesome. I have their coolers and stuff and other products, but out of all their products that they have, this is my favorite. Yes, their coolers are expensive, but they are good. And as far as the coolers go, if you don't use one all the time and kind of like me and just use one every now and then you could probably get by with one of the cheaper brands and that'd probably be a better way to go but these yeti bottles now i know there's knockoff versions of these these things are awesome you can fill them up with ice probably to here three quarters of the way full and fill this thing up with drinks all day long take two or three drinks with you stick them in the truck or tractor not have uh 
a big old cooler stuck in there and you weigh. Refill this thing and this is your cooler. Now something that they've come up with uh, that they didn't have is normally you would screw, let me set y'all over here so that way I can talk. Normally you would screw this top off like this and you would drink out of that. But these tops I'm about to show you are new that they just came out with. If you have one of these bottles and you don't like spilling it everywhere, watch this. They came out with these now. They have these little nipples on the end and the top screws on top of it. Let's fix that. So now you can take these anywhere, drink out of them easily, everything. They make these all the way up to I think it's a gallon now. Now the ones that are gallon, that's a little bit extreme and expensive. But this one I think is somewhere around like 30 bucks. And this is all I ever take with me. I can't remember how many ounces it is, but it holds a lot. And I take this thing with me all day. I get home at night, I drink out of it at night. I wake up the next morning and it's still got ice in it and I'm still drinking out of it. So if you don't open this thing, I think I tested it one time and it took like three days for all the ice to go out of it. If you leave it closed and don't let any air in it. And that is pretty cool for this little bottle to hold ice that long. And that ice you hear, that's from yesterday. I filled it up yesterday morning, and I just got it out of this truck. I left it in there last night when I got done hauling hay, and I got it out just then. It's still probably to here with ice on the inside, and what I had in it, I think it was water, and it's still cold. I can probably drink it right now, but the, uh, as far as a product, review, Yeti. Get it up there to the camera. Thumbs up for me. Uh, like I said, the coolers, they're kind of expensive. And unless you use a cooler every single day, like on a job site, and you're using it on a boat constantly or whatnot, or going camping a lot, I wouldn't probably spend that money on a cooler. Um, especially... If you, if you just use a cooler every now and then like I do, you're better off buying one of the knockoff brands. But if you're going off in a tractor all day in a cab and you don't want to have to deal with a big old cooler, check out these bottles. They are awesome. The knockoffs, I hadn't had one, but the more than these are, the Yeti obviously is going to work better because it's the original brand. Just get one of these. You're not going to be disappointed with it. Um, they work really good. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I don't know what's going to be coming up next. Uh, just be whatever I'm doing. Um, they're hauling rain for a while. And more than likely, if it does, I'm probably going to start getting putting the grain drill back together. Uh, and getting some other things I need to work on around here done. So there may be some working on videos on stuff coming up. More than just this. Um, if not, probably be back in the hayfield. Stay tuned. See you later.